Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The topic of our discussion today is analgesia in labor. First of all, we will talk about the difference between anesthesia and analgesia. Obstetric analgesia is the pain relief in labor. Anesthesia is the abolition of sufficient sensation to allow operative delivery. What are the different types of analgesia for the labor? Those include the pharmacological types like inhalational, systemic, and regional type of analgesia. The non-pharmacological types of analgesia include psychological support and physical type of analgesia given during labor. Now we will talk about the inhalational analgesia in labor, which consists of antinox gas, which is a combination of 50% nitric oxide and 50% oxygen. Next is that of the systemic opioids, which consist of injection pethidine, 50 to 150 milligram IM, meperidine. Next is injection nalbufene, which is semi-synthetic, kins, nubane, and menfine. Next is injection diamorphine, 5 to 10 milligram IM. Along with the systemic opioids, the antiemetic is given at the same time. The antidote of systemic opioid is that of the naloxone. Next type of analgesia during labor is that of the regional analgesia, which consists of epidural and spinal analgesia. Now, what are the indications of regional analgesia? Those include it is given for effective pain relief during labor and during the prolonged labor, and also in cases of maternal hypertensive disorders. in cases of the multiple gestation and when we have certain maternal medical conditions like cardiovascular problems and when there is risk of operation so in order to avoid the pain in such case the regional analgesia like spinal and epidural is preferred now what are the benefits of epidural analgesia almost pain free delivery is there with the epidural analgesia Secondly, it is used for instrumental delivery top up that can be tailored for sensory blockage of sensory dermatome up to the level of D10, while motor power of abdominal muscles is retained. So bearing down can be instituted in this with the contractions. Thirdly, for the abdominal delivery top up can provide abdominal muscle relaxations and sensory blockage up to T4 level. What are the absolute contraindications of epidural analgesia? those include first of all patient's refusal secondly raised intracranial pressure thirdly systemic and localized infection fourthly the uncontrolled hypovolemia fifthly the localized deformity of the spines what are the relative contraindications of epidural those include first of all coagulopathy or when the patient is on anticoagulant therapy secondly when we have spinal or neurological pathology or deformity thirdly some complex cardiovascular and other conditions are also relative contraindications of epidural like eisenmenger and marfan syndrome and fourthly when there is inadequately skilled team then that is also a relative contraindications of epidural Now we will discuss the administration of epidural analgesia. First of all, preload with Hartman solution. Position is usually sitting or left lateral. Antiseptic measures are followed, and access is very important. After infiltration of local anesthetic at L3 and L4, too high needle is advanced to epidural space. When position is confirmed, the epidural catheter is removed. The drug which is given is 0.25 percent bupivacaine 10 ml after test dose, and the dose is repeated after two hours. What are the complications of epidural analgesia? First of all, maternal hypotension, IV administration of local anesthetic agent, dural puncture, partial block, change in urinary retention, postpartum pain, and backache, which occurs in 20 percent of the cases. Now we will talk about the spinal analgesia. Spinal injection is given in subarachnoid space, which is effective for two to four hours, and hypotension secondary to distal vessel dilatation is a very common problem with spinal analgesia. And in this spinal an analgesia, injection ephedrine one ml is given, thirty milligram is given, and that is diluted to ten ml with a normal saline. That is, the dose is three milligram per ml. What are the non-pharmacological pain relief methods? The psychological methods include positive attitude, good support, conditioning, and hypnosis. 
and what are the physical forms of non pharmacological pain relief methods those include massage relaxation techniques tens that is transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation acupuncture aromatherapy and reflexology so thank you so much that was all about analgesia and anesthesia in labor subscribe on obstetrics and gynae allah hafiz